Well, hello everyone. Uh, thanks for tuning in. It's uh, Tuesday evening, uh, July the 16th. Uh, hopefully you're not getting tired of these videos. Um, but uh, just another uh, bald-faced hornet one. Um, it's in a bush, uh, I was told. Um, pretty low to the ground, like uh, three feet, three to four feet off the ground. So it should be a good one to film. Um, don't have to worry about working on a ladder or anything. So should uh, turn out all right pretty straightforward um, so yeah I've been uh, I've been pretty busy and if anyone's wondering um, I did I do have a lot of other calls uh, besides the bald face hornet but it's just uh, I have another job that I do during the day um, that's not even related to this I mean I don't even have to do these removals I just enjoy it and it's you know it's a second job little you know second income so I enjoy uh, the, the extra money, I enjoy the work overall, and also um, the extra cash it brings. Um, but yeah, I have another uh, day job that um, kind of takes up most of my time, so. Um, I think I got like seven calls yesterday, and uh, honestly, I had to refer most of them out. Um, so thanks, uh, Hornet King and David. Uh, you guys are the best uh, for taking those referrals. Um, I have one guy that does uh, removal similar to me, no chemicals. Another guy that I'm friends with that is licensed to use, uh, he's like environmentally considered, but he uses minimal chemicals. So if somebody doesn't want their wall opened or, or whatever, I just refer to David. Um, so thanks David for taking those and uh, also to Hornet King for taking the other ones. Um, so yeah, if I can do um, four to six jobs a week, I mean, I'm happy. Um, and I'm already uh, booked for the week, honestly. Um, I've got one tonight one tomorrow and then uh, Saturday I'm doing another one um, that's a ground nest uh, I think I'm gonna film that one that'll be the first uh, not the first but um, the third ground nest of the year but um, so I should that'll be different from the uh, the Hornet videos so um, I'll probably film that ground one if it turns out good I'll put it on YouTube but I plan to bring uh, the GoPro for that one and then the one tomorrow night's another uh, bald faced Hornet nest uh, in a bush um, I mean, I could do them all in one night, but since it takes about an hour to do the removal, I figure uh, I just do like one after work because um, I got other stuff I have to do um, besides this. So it just gets uh, time consuming. You figure on, if you do it the way I do it, you figure on at least 45 minutes minimum, plus, you know, the time spent driving. So you got to charge accordingly and uh, plan accordingly for it. Um, if anybody wants to private message me, I could. I uh, can tell you more uh, about what you should be charging or what you can what kind of time you expect to put in but it is uh, it is work and it is time this is actually I've been doing it 10 years now so um, I mean I've learned a lot and I, you know, I still have stuff to learn everybody's can always improve in some way or another um, but I'm just at the point though that you know I just get business through like word of mouth and other things so I can get I'm not trying to brag or anything but I get more calls than what I can actually take so hence I have to uh, refer a lot out and then Thursday and Friday I have other plans uh, got to do some stuff with friends and stuff so I can't do the removals but um, I try to dedicate you know at least two week nights and then some time on the weekends to doing the wasp removals um, so that's not I'm not gonna stop doing them it's just um, you know I get to a point where I get busy and you know it's I can do what I can and kind of pick and choose the, the jobs that I want um, so yeah, anyway, uh, I'm on my way to south end of Westchester uh, for a uh, bald-faced hornet nest, so I'll uh, turn the camera on back uh, when I get there. It is a little bit overcast, if you can see on the camera, uh, but I don't think uh, they're calling for rain. There's a chance of rain Thursday, but I think uh, tonight and tomorrow uh, it's going to be dry, so it's, uh, it's a good thing. Uh, so yeah, see you soon. Bye-bye. All right, so here's the nest. It's actually a good sized nest. Pretty cool, they still got their lights. It's like uh, Alberta spruce or uh, creep upright juniper or something. But um, yeah, if you're listening to the tail end of uh, the customer, I did get permission to film this, of course, but um, if you were listening, uh, the customer was telling a story about a time when he uh, burned out a European hornet nest uh, that was in a, uh, a hollow tree. They were successful, but uh, just about uh, burned the neighborhood down, they say, joked. Um, so I use uh, water and the customer here uses fire, but uh, just didn't want to chance it with this one, so they, they called me. The customer's actually stung once. Just try to sting the camera there. Very 
took note of it and taken note of me, so I'm gonna get started soon. Um, again, I uh, forgot my uh, safety glasses. I guess I could go back to the car and get them if I'm good. Um, if I won't need them, but yeah, there's a nest. There's got a lot of interconnecting branches and stuff, so I'm sure to uh, fire up the vacuum and uh, get to work. I guess that one's building something. That one's on guard. The sentries are at the ready. Turning with a spider or something. Sorry. Just, uh, the geek uh, insect lover in me is uh, just uh, taking observation of them. So yeah, it's take about an hour. Looks like about a 80 to 100 worker nest right now. So. Hopefully the camera's picking it up. They don't cling. They try to stay dive bomb. See if you want a camera. I have to stop the clear. I want to set up the vacuum hose. So I can back away, just let the uh, vacuum do its work. Make something there. Right by the front door, so. Won't be able to use their front door for uh, until I'm done with this. stings yet. Hope it stays that way. You can see the uh, air from the vacuum. It gets sucked up.
sucked up was not what it used to be. Selfie. So far safe and sound in my armor. Yep, bye bye. Just about ready to bite the dust. Face to face with a Dolico Vespula Immaculata. Mm. Mm. like something's up. Go there, there's negative air pressure, what's up? Oh, just got sucked up. Go for it, go for the trap. We get rescue yellow traps, uh, Herc 1120 yellow jacket traps is what's up. That's the trap you want. We get rescue. leave it there and they all fly back to the nest. They might be swarming. When I get done a job, 99.9% .9 of them are gone. Yeah, they do swarm. Some of them are always going to be missed, but no matter what you're using, but they always fly back. That's what I will say. And anybody that comments here, you're inaccurate. They always get sucked up. I cannot emphasize that enough. I have 10 years experience. I know well what I'm doing. I back my work with my word in my business. I back away and then they just fly back. A few left, but pretty much been filming the whole time. Just let it go as long as this needs needs to be and now the ones that, that the ones that swarmed out that were in the nest, they swarmed out and they all got sucked up. So now the ones that you see are the foragers returning. And there could be, you know, like I said, an 80 to 100 worker nest. So you figure there's about 50 workers that were out foraging when I got started vacuuming. Mean, they can be out for up to an hour, maybe sometimes even longer than an hour. So that's just always something to, to bear in mind. That's why you gotta let the vacuum run and do its work. If I just stop vacuuming now, I mean, I'd have an upset customer. I mean, he'd call me the next day and say, hey, Chris, you know, there's um, 50 hornets, you know, flying around my bush. Like, what, you know, what's up? So I'd be, I'd be called back. I'd rush back. So that's just something uh, to consider. It's funny how they're just kind of chilling on my glove. It's like, no big deal. It's like, who are you, dude? It's completely like, just whatever. Either that or she's like, hey, I concede. You know, you, you want my nest, you can take it. I'll let my sisters get sucked up, but just uh, spare my life or something. I don't know. Who knows? It's funny how they're chilling out. And there's another one here. Completely chilling. I'm one with the hornets. That's what I... It's a joke, but one with these two hornets. Of course, I'm wearing a suit, so I don't know that I'm really one with the hornets. I'm not one to wear a beard of hornets or a beard of bees, so. Yeah, they're more interested in me than they are in their nest. As you can see, there's not many more flying around. They all got sucked up. 
But like I said, there would be some returning, so that's why the vacuum's running. And there's one more. All right. A few more keep coming back, but like I said, they'll keep getting sucked up. All right, so it's been about 25 minutes. Um, just saw one fly back, but the swarm is gone. Um, so yeah, this just goes to show that, yeah, they swarm. Some are missed. It's a big nest. When nests get big, you know, you could have 100 plus workers. There's gonna be some that don't get vacuumed up and you gotta account for all the ones returning. And this goes out, I'm defending anyone else who does the vacuum method. I'm defending Hornet King and uh, anybody else who ever tries this method. Yes, there's gonna be some that swarm out and are missed, but they always fly back to the nest. As you can see, about a half hour later, there is zero activity. The only thing you see is the occasional forager coming back and they get sucked right up into the vacuum. So yeah. Um, and here's the nest. It's my hand for comparison. It's probably about 10 inches, 10 inches by eight inches. And then another seven or eight inches thick. 45 minutes later. All right, here's the catch. Sounds and stuff, but gives you an idea. They're all dead. Hate to do it, but like I said, the customer got stung and they were in a bad spot. So yeah, just clean this up and that'll be it. <laughs> 